Hello and welcome to this video where I'll be sharing my experiences and results of 300 push-ups a day challenge. I did this for the whole month and I thought it's going to be easy and fun, but it ended up being quite difficult. Let me start by showing you the specific plan of a single day, because I did follow a few additional rules. The main premise of this challenge is to do 300 push-ups every day for a month. There is a lot of ways to do it, for example, making them all in one training session in one or two hours. But this approach would mean that I'd lose a lot of energy every day just for the push-ups, and I didn't want it to influence my regular workout schedule. That's why I decided to follow the guidelines of greasing the groove method, as precisely as I could. I measured my max push-ups in the first day, and the result I got was 43 reps. I wanted to do about 50% of my max in a set, as it is recommended by GTG method, so I decided to do 20 reps for a set. To reach the 300 push-ups in a day, I had to do 15 sets. To be as rested as possible before doing every one of them, I wanted to disperse them evenly throughout the day. So basically, that meant doing one set every hour, as I sleep 8 hours on average. Of course, greasing the groove method lets you rest every few days and perform exercises only when fully rested, but because of the challenge, I had to do push-ups every day and until I was done with the 300. Before the challenge I thought it's not going to be difficult. 20 push-ups every hour doesn't seem hard at all. As expected, the first day was not very hard. Doing 20 push-ups for a set wasn't a big deal and one hour of rest was enough to gain back the energy. Last few sets were a little more challenging, as I wasn't used to do high rep workouts, but I felt good. The problems began the next day, because my chest and shoulders were quite sore, and the last thing I wanted to do was to do more push-ups. However, I had to push through the pain and do them anyway. This aspect of the challenge was the most difficult for me. Every day I woke up with sore muscles, and I had to perform push-ups in spite of not feeling like it especially in the morning when the soreness was the biggest. Anyway, I pushed further until I got to the full two weeks. At that point, I felt that my body got used to the everyday struggle and I also got much better in push-ups. So once again, I measured my max and this time I got 56 reps. Because of that, I increased my single set to 25 reps and that gave me longer rest time between each one, because now I had to do only 13 sets a day. Here's the piece of paper where I noted down all of my sets. Each line is a separate day. Another huge surprise for me was how hard it was to systematically perform the set every hour. I spend a lot of time at home right now, but I have some other activities in a day. This challenge is cruel though. No matter what you do or where you are, you have to do your push-ups. From early in the morning to late in the night, constantly doing push-ups. Of course, that's an ideal plan and I don't think you can execute it perfectly every day. I had a few days where I just went away for a couple of hours or just forgot about it. In such case, I had to catch up and do a set every 30 minutes or so as the day came to an end. What I wanted to avoid was doing sets one after another. I had to have at least 15 minutes of rest in between. How did the challenge influence my regular training sessions? I think I didn't notice a big impact for pull sessions and legs slash abs training. If anything, I felt warmed up all the time and ready to train at any moment. The big problem was the pull sessions, because I mostly used their muscles that were already pretty fatigued by the push-ups. I removed most of the push-up-like exercises from the workout and did more overhead presses and dips instead. However, getting my muscles to cooperate was a big deal because of the soreness. Surprisingly though, my performance fluctuated a lot. There were days where I couldn't do a single handstand push-up, but about 12 days into the challenge I had one session where I beat all my records. That's when I did 11 handstand push-ups, even though I didn't do more than 8 or 9 in months. That was pretty happy moment. Now let's get to the results of the challenge. First, how did my body change? I didn't expect much difference to be honest, it's just one month and just push-ups. However, I definitely noticed some development in shoulders and chest 
and maybe lost a little fat. But what was more exciting for me was how much will my push-up max increase. I already saw pretty sweet progress after 2 weeks, getting from 33 to 56. But I was sore and tired back then. After finishing the challenge, I rested a day without doing a single push-up. The next day I measured my max reps and I did 70, that's over 60% increase in a single month. I think if I were to continue this challenge, I would get to 100s pretty quickly, but right now I need to take a break from push-ups. Another aspect that is improved by such challenges is mental toughness. Every day you wake up with sore muscles, but you push through the pain anyway. This kind of determination helps a lot in training, especially when you train to failure. It's easier to push yourself to the limit if you've done it every single day to some extent. And that's all I wanted to share, let me know in the comments if you'd like to try this challenge as well. If you're less advanced, you can just pick a smaller total number of reps, 200 or 150. I also think about doing a similar thing with the pull-ups. Leave a like on this video if you'd like to see the pull-up video as well. And until the next time. If you need help with calisthenics, would like to learn skills like human flag, front lever or planche, or you're a beginner and could use a guidance, then check out my Patreon page for details. If you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks and see you next time.